Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Ruger Max 9 and the Masada Slim or the Masada 9S. They match up fairly well. They're both double stacked 9mm handguns of the subcompact nature. Now the Masada 9S is a little bit larger with a 3.4 inch barrel. The Max 9 has a 3.2 inch barrel. But if we align them, you will see that the Masada goes just a little bit longer and the magazine or the, the grip goes a little bit longer as well. The 9S carries 13 rounds. The Max 9 carries 12 rounds. They also have a 10 round magazine. So let's check out the Max 9. Already mentioned 3.2 inch barrel. It has serrated black rear sights, a fiber optic tritium front sight that is a nice touch. They all come optic ready. This has a sight mark mini shot on there. I've had it on there for a while. 10 and 12 round magazines. Nice ergonomic feel. The trigger measures right around five pounds. It does have the trigger bar safety in there. And it has performed well. I've had good luck with the Max 9 from the beginning. It also has a integrated barrel bushing right there. So it locks up nice and tight. Disassemble, yeah, you have a gate you have to move downward, but a similar system with the 9S. Let me take a few shots with the Max 9 here and we'll check it out. All right, not bad. The Masada 9S, or Masada Slim, as I mentioned, has mags that carry 13 rounds. This is five ounces heavier, 29 ounces loaded with 14 rounds. 3.4 inch barrel, nice forward serrations, deeper cut serrations than the Max 9. It has a flat trigger that breaks right around the same weight with a shorter reset. I have a Hollowson EPS carry on here and I like the sights, well that, that fiber optic tritium sight uh, on, the front, on the Max 9 front sight is a little nicer than the front dot but the overall feel I like with the Masada Slim. Uh, the grip texturing is just a little bit nicer in my opinion but we're looking at 29 ounces loaded with 14 rounds. The Max 9 we're looking at well, it would be five ounces lighter, so 24 ounces loaded with 13 rounds. Let's take a few shots with the, with the Slim. Now, there is no doubt that I have a better optic with the Masada Slim. Hollowson EPS carry enclosed pistol sight. Overall, the MSRP when, when we're talking about price is not that different. Four thirty nine with the Max Nine, four fifty with the Masada Slim. The size is minimal. Both would make great carry guns. Both are optic ready. The Max Nine has dropped in the store price anyhow I think a lot of people got a great deal on this just recently just under three hundred dollars this has a sight mark mini shot this has a hollow sun EPS both shoot very nicely Masada just a little heavier just a little longer with the barrel Ruger Max 9 a little bit lighter I like the trigger better with the slim and that makes a big difference it is a flat trigger that breaks right at five pounds this is more of a rounded trigger. I think the Max 9 is a great gun and it has been very reliable for me. Now I mentioned the disassemble. The Max 9 has a gate right there. You have to push it down. The Masada Slim has a gate right there. You have to push it forward or backward, forward. And 
in each case a pin has to be removed so they actually break down rather similar overall shooting impressions I'm going to give it to the Masada Slim. It, it just feels more like a compact size handgun. This would be considered a larger subcompact, although IWI doesn't consider it subcompact that I've seen. They've taken many of the features here from the full-size Masada, put it on the Masada 9S, and created a very nice handgun. Grip texturing, no great difference. Magazine there is, barrel length there is. Optic ready with both, both clearly, and by shooting them side by side, if I had to choose one, I'm going with the 9S. What I really want to know is, which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.